And we're back with some more room world. And today it's time to take care of some chores. And by chores, I mean finishing off this base and, well, butchering a whole bunch of tribals who are about to show up any second now. Oh, there they are. Would you look at that? How many are we dealing with? 12,500 is the final result. Okay, and under the numbers section, according to the enemies listed, we have 218. That seems like a very reasonable amount. I say we get ready and uh, go kill them all. It's just starting to kick off, sort of. There's a, a few enemies out in front, though the rest of them seem to be lagging behind. I think they're having problems. Wow, why are some of them so injured? Oh, yeah, they ran into a panther, that was it. And then, of course, the friendly fire got them. But we don't want to be too trigger-happy here. The reason being, there's Nabar. They've got trigger-happy and tough, though they're not amazing. However, turtle here. Trigger happy, tough, great memory, and double passion in crafting. They are just a yes hire. We need, we need desperately to to zap them and recruit them. In the meantime, just come on. What are you doing? Hurry up and attack. Stop, stop hacking back. Seriously? Oh my god, they're just sending them in in twos. Oh, this is going to take forever. And we've got another attack coming in 20 hours. Hurry it up. I really wish they would hurry up. We're slowly dribbling them to death, but there's like 18 hours left. Come oh, they seem to be moving. Excellent. About time. All right, in that case, we should probably activate the marksmanship command. Paul is our newest marksman. Please pop that ability just there now. And as well as that, we gotta keep an eye on turtle. We wanna make sure the moment they come in range, we psychically shock glance them. Though I honestly can't see them amongst that entire pile. Oh, there they are. And our enemies are getting butchered horrifically. Ah, it's beautiful. Just the way you always wanted it. Oh, oh. Turtle. And uh, where's Grumpy Gran? Grumpy Gran has a shot glance, doesn't she? Yes. Immediately zap them. Oh, that was instantaneous. Psychic shock, no other damage. Now, considering their closeness to the blast radius of all our miniguns, I'm not sure how long that will last, but let's keep an eye on them anyway. All right, charge into the breach, all of you. No, no, it's not going well for them. I'm surprised those trees are still there. How's that tree doing? Down to 18%. Oh, wow. That one almost... Did that one almost get a shut off? That one got a shut off. Hey, guys, what are you doing? There we go. Much better. Holy Christ. I don't think I'm... Okay, maybe eventually I'll get tired of that. But seriously, I don't see how. That is just beautiful. All right, let's get them into a prison. We haven't actually finished the prison, so we'll just stick them in, in a sleeping spot. And we actually have an inspired recruitment. In fact, we have two inspired recruitments. So, yeah, let's add them to our collection, though the re converting them to our religion might take a minute. One slightly depressing thing is we don't have enough time to harvest all the skulls of all the careful shooters. I mean, I'm trying, but... It's just so busy. I was originally worried that we wouldn't be able to find enough medicine or we wouldn't be able to grow enough medicine, but yeah, these tribals are actually dropping off quite a bit. What are we up to? 317 herbal. I think we brought a couple hundred with us. Also, beer-wise, we're not doing too bad. They keep dropping beer everywhere. 275 beers, and they also drop off ambrosia, though maybe not quite so much. Okay, 201. We're not going to run out of some of the, uh, the happier, easier to acquire drugs. Also, Jade seems to be a reasonably common drop. We're probably going to want to make a few statues out of that. But later, later. We've got to finish our uh, our octagon. It's almost done. Then we can finish reconfiguring the inside for optimum troop management. Before I forget, we're going to make Lightwave into a DACA specialist. Uh, namely because we just need more of them. And you can leave the role change. Yep, yeah, we're not going to keep anyone around for this. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix this bug at some point in the future, but eh, whatever. For now, it saves us a whole bunch of time on our pawns, and our time is desperately required to keep our defenses repaired and to finish off all the building that needs doing. We're going to immediately burn that inspired recruitment to bring Turtle to our side. Come on, Turtle. You know you want to. And then... How do they have... Wait a minute. How does Zhang have... Oh, no, they've got a source of nine. I then think we'll immediately arrest them and start the conversion process. Or... Should we? That might be the fastest way. How's Mitchell doing? You know what, Mitchell? Hit them immediately with a convert. See how that works out on them. But, hey, where do you think you're going? And boom. Actually, wow. That's a 33% loss. You know what? We'll just let them... 
We'll equip them up and we're gonna need to build them a minigun. Damn it, we need to build a minigun production facility. To help with the minigun problem, we have set ourselves up a machining table. We're going to produce one minigun and Jason Sutton will be on that job. Uh, Jason there is actually doing quite well on the mood front. Because, you know, they got married recently and there's 19 days left on that mood boost. As well as that, they're on a crafting of 19. That great memory trait is just so handy. So Jason will get to work on that minigun though. We're going to be kind of limited on grabbing components until we've finished out a few things. So we'll just have to live with what we've got. Uh, I'm starting to put in a couple of crop areas. We are going to need some. As in, we're going to need Devil Strand to replace our capes. We're going to need some dye to, you know, keep everyone in the pink. And bed wheels along side. Yes, we're also going to need a little bit of potatoes so that we can make some survival meals for caravan trips. So we'll need a little bit of crops, but hopefully not too much. But I'm going to put in two. And we're going to make sure that they'll fit inside, where is it, we're under furniture, sun lamps. So we'll get one there, and we'll put in another one in a minute as well. We're just moving everyone down to a more permanent location. For our next trick, we're going to do something, well, totally exploitative. Just sort of for demonstration purposes. We're only going to be doing this the once, so don't, don't get mad. It's three seconds until the next raid hits. And we're going to make a caravan. We're just going to leave Sean Bjug and Good Dog behind. Everyone else and all of the animals we're taking with us. Also, one little thing I think I'm going to do, just to sort of clean up the map a little bit, is we're going to get rid of all the tainted clothing. Now, where is it? Oh, we just got to scroll past the corpses. This might take a second. Any second now. Any second now. Seriously? Hey! What are all those dead animals doing there? I didn't kill half of those. Alright, there's all their weapons. We'll probably sell those at some point. Oh god. Okay, here it is. Tainted clothing. Now, I've installed a little mod. And look at that. It allows you to drag select. We can just drag down like this. And it adds all of those to the caravan. We can take, rid of, take all the tainted clothing off the map. Do we need to? Not really. But it is a nice way of doing it. This drag select mod makes this so much easier to do. I'll list it in the description if you want to get your hands on it. And that is about 1.9 metric tons of tainted clothing. Yeah, this is getting actually a little bit chuggish. The game does not like handling a caravan that big. But anyway, yes. Yep, it finally did it. We're out. And if you check back in here, you'll notice all the corpses are now naked. We managed to insta-strip all of them. One of the uh, weird benefits of living on this tile. Handy for not ending you with a bunch of clothes lying around in, uh, you know, when we're going to yeah, slaughter them up later. But you'll notice there's three seconds left till the enemy arrives. And this is the important bit. When it comes to raids in a combat tile, well, revenge raids in a combat tile, the only thing that counts is how many pawns you have. That's it. Pawn wealth is the only thing that matters. So even though we have, let's see, we have... 3,988 wood, a whole bunch of slate, gold. We have lots of expensive items. When we unpause this, two, one, zero, and the raid hits. How big do you think that raid's gonna be? And uh, let's check here. It's jump to location and we have two, is that it? Just, just the two? Wow, yeah. As you can see, tiny raid, absolutely tiny. Now, this next bit of information comes from Chaos Strife, and it's about the raid size. As you can see here, these, these numbers don't make sense. Well, 15 is the, the total from the amount of pawns we have, which is the 1, so we get 15 points from that. Then there's this uh, 1.7. 1.07 is the adaption factor. It's how long you've been playing the game, basically. And then the by 5 is the difficulty multiplier to give us 80 points. Then it gets multiplied by the raid walk-in factor. It's an edge walk-in, and the raid strategy is staged and attack. So it also gets multiplied by that. But there's a hidden multiplier here you're not seeing. It, it's not the mod's fault. It, it's, this is an edge case. No one really thought about this one. It seems to be a 2.5 multiplier to whatever is left over. So that 80 should be multiplied by 0.91 and then a further 2.5. And that gives you the 180. Double check to build the calculator. Yeah, that seems to be exactly how it's going. Chaos Stripe noticed this. So it does mean that any attacks you get on these tiles will be two and a half times bigger than you're used to. But no wealth factors to worry about. You don't have to worry about wealth. So does that mean we can just build like armies of turrets? Like, I mean, you could put one pawn here, surround the whole thing in like a hundred turrets, and only two people would show up all the time and they just have to fight an army of turrets. That would seem an extremely broken and cheesy way of having a sort of a fortress. I mean, you wouldn't have to be able to have a lot of pawns, but theoretically, you put in enough turrets, you wouldn't ever have to worry about anyone bothering you. Hell, you could put in autocannon. There's... 
Hmm. Hmm. That's that's a whole other thing. But no, that's not what we're here for. Anyway, let's uh, let's bring the caravan back in and take care of our problem. Our problem being two enemies that have shown up. Oh dear lord. Oh wait, no. I want to uh, first get rid of all of these items. This unfortunately might take a minute. You just sort of click X and have to hit enter. I can't find a way to do this any faster, unfortunately. So I'll be back in about five minutes. Turns out I missed one enemy. There was one over here as well, but our returning pawns slaughtered them. So yeah, three enemies. We only got attacked by three enemies. I'm pretty sure Sean Bielg could have soloed them all on their own with that mono sword. Also, yeah, they've actually got pretty good gear. They would have taken them apart. I wanted a pink slaughter. All right, uh, let's get our construction finished. This actually leaves us in a nice position. This means we were able to take care of that really quickly. Though I can't be exploiting that. That just feels kind of wrong. We didn't come here to avoid conflict. We came here to embrace it. Another quick promotion. We're turning heavy metal pie into a shooting specialist. Namely because, well, the more the merrier. That's four shooting specialists, meaning we should always have someone available to do them. It'll just be handier this way. Uh, you can all leave that roll change. Anyone else left? Anyone? God damn it, just, just, just go on and get on with your day, day which is, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of world you're living in, everyone always finds a way to keep happy. Though, I think the happiest person right now, there's actually two of them, would be, uh, yeah, Zeng here, who has killed at least five people in the last three days. At least. Which, you know, good, good, good for them. Uh, I believe there's someone else here who has also managed to kill a whole bunch of people. Is it? Nope. Wait, no, wrong one. Where are they? Ah, Yabon. They also have killed five people, at least five people, in the in the last four days. That's, um, yeah, anyone who's got bloodlust right now is going to be super happy in this colony. We are, like, imagine if all of your colonists had bloodlust here. Everyone would just have a solid 37 all year round, just from all the murderage they get going on. Unfortunately, we don't have all bloodlust people, which is why we're going to have to do some things to improve our morale. Uh, our morale is dropping pretty badly, as you can see. We can't keep up with it. We've got everyone inside a, a sort of a barracks instead of their normal individual bedrooms. Some people are not liking that. They're still on paste. There's changes we have to make. We're just going to finish off getting up our, uh, our sort of food slash devil strand area. Hey, hey do someone want to rip up that floor? I want to make sure that soil is good. I, I really don't want to build the whole thing and then discover that the, the land underneath it is actually unusable. We we just had a bunch of goats join, though uh, that's back at our home map, which I'd forgotten existed. Yeah, this still hasn't been destroyed yet. I suppose we haven't been gone that long. What's the uh, awakener timer in this? Come on, at some point you're going to wake up, right? Oh, yeah, it was the mortar, wasn't it? That had about 10 days on it. Wow, we have not been gone that long. Maybe 12 days? It's amazing how time flies. All right. And why is that on? What are you even connected to that could be powering? Oh, it's off for a rest period. Never mind, for a second that looked lit up. Yeah, let's finish off our defenses. Also, skull-wise, how are we looking? Oh my god, we have 50. They're all careful shooters. It's amazing how many we're finding. Okay, okay. Let me finish this off, and then we're going to have to deal with an attack in six hours. I think we've almost got our core base sorted. As well as that, we're going to want to start installing power. So we're going to want to put it down an actual main power grid. So we're going to start putting these in stable power cells in here and walling them in. Same as before, just different location. Uh, I don't like leaving them where they currently are, just sort of higgledy-piggledy everywhere. A, a centralized area would make me much more comfortable, especially walled in with stone. I've also installed a little mod that shows you when they uh, level up. So Joel Seg Seguin has reached level 8 in construction. Good to know. This is going to be very interesting when we start shooting. I'm pretty sure we've got a several shooters who are going to level up over time. Also, let's check on the scoreboard here. Human-like kills, we've only got two people who have hit the century mark so far. We've got Carl Wallace with 176. To be expected, there have been a marksmanship uh, DACA specialist for ages. And then Tessex at 112, which is pretty damn good. Ali's at 90, I think she'll be the next person to crack the century. And then Mitchell's and Douglas after that. I'm curious to see if all the trigger-happy people float to the top. I mean, in theory, they should, right? And if we're wrong, well, the tough people will. It's just a, a good long-term experiment to find out what's going to happen. Our power grid is getting there, but it's time to deal with another little minor annoyance. And minor annoyance is eventually going to hit. And, oh, it's a double. That's awkward. What's, what do we got down here? 147? Come on. 140? 14? Poof. Looks like you want to use sap sappers to turn around your... Defenses, they're attacking from multiple angles. Awkward. Ooh, let me think. How are we going to handle this? Oh, damn. I think we take the bottom ones first. Double checking the numbers here. I think what we're going to do is actually split up both groups. 
I'm going to send the larger group down to face the 147 and the smaller group over to face the 114. If things start to go wrong, we'll pop an Insanity Lance or we can pop a Shield Pop, but I think we might have enough firepower. I split them into two groups by basically sorting them by accuracy and then just taking every second one, so sort of like that. Yeah, yep, 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 all the way up until I had two groups, so there should be an even mix on each side. And this does mean we're not going to be able to pop two marksmanship commands. I may want to invest in eight marksman specialists. Oh, that seems terrifying. But... Dear Lord, hurry up, would you? Oh, animals. I should probably bring the animals back inside. Oh, and... Yep, yeah, bring the animals back inside and may change everyone's schedule so they stay in the base. Don't want anyone trying to wander outside when it's the middle of a killing zone. Uh, okay, Aaron, what are you doing there? We'll put you there. Okay. Looking good. Just keep an eye here. Where are they coming from? Oh, you guys might want to cycle over just a little bit. Perfect, you guys go there. How's he looking over this side? That gazelle guy. This needs to be heading towards where I like him to go. Hmm, I'm not liking the look of this. I think we will actually pop some sort of marksmanship command down here. If someone had one. No one has one, do they? Seriously? We do have access to a Berserk, and Invisibility, a Blinding Pulse, a bunch of other stuff. Nothing too crazy in a Chaos Skip. I think I'm just going to keep a, a bit of an eye down here for a while anyway. Hmm. Well. We could hit, hit you, Berserk. We just need to distract them a little bit to buy us more time. How are you guys doing over here? You know what? Let's, uh, where are we? Lightwave? Pop that marksmanship command there. Oh god. I am liking that shooting activation noise. Alright, alright. That's enough of that. Uh, oof. There's too many bows and arrows coming our way and it's hurting us. Do we, do we pop a shield pop? Oh, I hate burning through our expendables, but this one is just an annoyance. Yep, yeah, I kind of have to. You get over there. Uh, okay, that takes care of that. Over the side. We're actually doing okay. Oh man, that's just so much more firepower once that happens. Ow, Paul, how many hits did you just take, buddy? Ouch, ouch. Broken. That's good, that's good. Down here, still not broken. Oh, wow, I'm so glad I burned that down here. What are you guys doing? Start shooting! Okay, we'll let you three, you all back to work. That was awkward. I really don't like when we have to fight split. Hmm. I think we need to build out some walls and maybe uh, slow them down or find a way to funnel them better. We need some way of dealing with that because those ones are a little expensive. Oh, there was actually a trigger happy, happy tough and kind pawn. Eh. Not really worth it. We've already got a, another pawn already. I'm not, I'm not bothered. Let's check out the corpses, though. Maybe there was one that escaped us. Trigger happy tough in a bar? Oh, and a tough and a depressive. No, thank you. Oh, that was one we killed earlier. Never mind. Oh, we better harvest some skulls. Slowly but surely, the base is coming together. This is going to be our sort of living area here. This whole section will be living, dining, and, well, sleeping, living, dining, maybe a little bit of medical as well. We're probably going to put in a cook station as well. We're going to want to start cooking up meals once we switch over to the other food source. Uh, we've still got more than enough beef left, though, to keep us going for another few days. Before the next wave hits in nine seconds, I think we can do a, a little something something. Uh, what we're going to do here is reform our caravan, and Turtle is currently having a mental break. And this is one of the other joyous things we can do. We can get Turtle and stick them in a caravan before the raids arrive. Oh, one second, I gotta unselect everyone again. This is gonna get frustrating, isn't it? This caravan is also going to take all of the weapons. Just, well, not all of them. We couldn't actually carry all of them, but about a ton of weaponry off the tile. That is a lot of weaponry, and they can go trade with Sparland. We can trade that in for, well, whatever we want. And if we stocked extant, we can grab some, some new stuff. And bear in mind, that caravan can get attacked along the way, so let's hope they don't. All right, nine seconds. Let's see what they got in store for us. Let's hope it's nothing too complex. Just something we can line up for and gun down. The, the more we have to think, the longer this is going to take. Dear Lord, that took forever. It felt like an eternity. All right, uh, 
11,966 points. That's not too bad. How are we looking on the enemy? Ooh, you can still see some of them have, uh, they're still injured from their last fight, which I'm going to presume is minigun fire? Minigun fire. Yeah, seems like a reasonable assumption. Uh, let's check on our, in on our enemies here. They are doing, what, we got 210? That's not so bad. They do have a trigger-happy tough night owl. Let's see what you're like. You are actually pretty good. Incapable of dumb labor. Ugh. No, you know what? We already have one recruit. We've got them on. And we can't even give them a minigun. Uh, simple enough. We're going to line up here and gun them down. Wait, how long is it going to take them to arrive again? We have all our people inbound right now. Yeah, a whole lot of them. Yeah, it'll take them a minute, but they'll get there. Enemies are coming from the top left. They are attacking immediately. Should probably leave a whole bunch of doors open between them and us so that they know where they're going. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's leave that wooden door open. Give them a route to our bedroom. That should hopefully bring them in that direction. Oh, Paul, you are not looking too good. You took a lot of hits in that last fight. We gotta, hmm, better hope this one goes a lot faster and more and easier. Let's get everyone lined up nice and neat. These raids are so weird. There's like three of them out ahead and like the rest of them are trying to figure out how they follow. Oh, Magnus got up to level 14 shooting. Excellent. Actually, that reminds me. How's our colonists doing? Uh, who's in the lead? Carl's still in the lead, but Ali's joined the Centurion Club. She's got 100 kills under her belt. Let's see uh, Let's see how the rest of the team do after this fight. Come on now. No, no, no messing about. We, we've got to kill. We've got to try and all get up to the Centurion Club. I think we can call that a successful defense. Uh, I think, oh, Azul took a hit. Nope, nope, that's actually from the last fight. I, I think we took very minimal losses that round. That's good, good indeed. All right, I'll just uh, set up some skull harvest and let everyone back to work. That's weird. Uh, the row count is capped out at a thousand. Does that mean that there's, it's only possible to have a thousand corpses on the map or have we actually got a thousand corpses? On, like, is, is there a limit? There is exactly 1,000 human corpses. Seriously? No, it can't be. Hey, could someone kill someone else just in case? Oh, uh, no, they're all out of range. Never mind. We'll find out in about... Oh, how many hours? 17 hours. We'll find out in 17 hours anyway. Oh, look at that. We've got a pack of manhunting rats have shown up. But, uh... Yeah, the, the problem with that is it's not on that tile. It's on our home tile. And the question is, should we actually keep our home tile? I was just going to get rid of it. Uh, but... Uh, maybe some people want to see, see it turn into another Australia. I doubt it'll ever happen. There's not enough wealth on this to attract that much attention. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it here for now. We'll see what the comments say. We'll probably want another base at some point just so we can uh, have caravans. As in, what we can do is we can actually make a base right beside us. And then I would like the Empire to show up with their, you know, their, tr their group every so often. And we can trade them prisoners for honor or something like that. Because we should be able to capture a lot of prisoners if we need to. In fact, I think they're still... A couple, well, there was a couple out there. Nah, they've probably passed away by now. But we could, in theory, capture an awful, awful lot of prisoners. Hey, Miko's reached eight in construction. I really do like that mod. I changed the noise so it was more uh, impressive, but eh, knowing that everyone's gaining construction levels and shooting levels and all that, it just it gives that sense of progress. One thing I really want to do, though, is start placing uh, decoy turrets. If we could, say, get some security out there and place, say, decoy turrets out here somewhere, a couple, just, you know, a few on each line, the decoy turrets would draw fire, and we should be able to shoot over them without clipping them very often. And the explosion radius should be just far enough away from us. However, there is a problem. We haven't researched gun turrets. I mean, I don't use gun turrets normally because we add to colony wealth, and they're just not as cost-efficient as I'd like. Plus, they're not mobile, and just, in most situations, they're not really that useful for standard base. But for us, considering it doesn't actually add to difficulty we could put down as many turrets as we wanted and putting down some on the outside edge just to draw fire and slow down raids if the split raids come in very useful we just need someone to actually research it okay caravans arrived it's barland yay okay 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 please have something good for a trade also let's see how much it it's worth to sell all of these weapons like just wow that's uh we just made 44 from selling all of that <laughs> This might take a minute. From selling scrap tribal weapons, we made 3,652 silver. Okay, that is... That was actually a lot more than I was expecting, though. I suppose it kind of makes sense. There's just so many of them. Even if they're worth pennies, we can just... We can cart out hundreds of them. And we don't have to load them up. This is... 
This is so bizarre. We picked up a low shield pack, a psychic shock lance, an insanity lance, and some components. Um, we're we're going to be coming back anyway. It's it not like that's a big deal. Oh wait, we're going to tell them to go there instead, just in case they arrive just as a raid hits. That would be awkward. You know, I'd prefer to make sure they make it back into the base as opposed to arriving on the edge of the base while there's a bunch of people trying to kill them. All right, let's uh, finish off what we're doing here. I'm flooring the whole place in wood, and I know that's insane. Okay, Lightwave has fixated a ridge on Magnus. Well, you know what that means, right? Time to make a caravan. This is uh, a little bit weird, but if we say get Magnus here, who's having a mental break, I can't. I don't even know why, but that doesn't matter. Where? Did, oh, there we go. We have Magnus and Tessex selected, and we will send them out on a caravan. Boom, they're now traveling the world map. Now you'll notice that Magnus should still be having, are they still having a mental break? Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Whatever their mental break was, now when we re-entered the destroyed settlement, they're automatically well, drafted. So if they were on a mental break, that mental break is now over. So you're good and you're good. Oh wait, it was Lightwave. God damn it, fine. Lightwave and Tessex will be sent off the map, right? And then they're going to re-enter. Uh, Magnus, you can go back to work. Where's Lightwave? Wait, Lightwave, you're still... Damn it. Hmm. Let me try one more thing. We have sent Lightwave and Tessex off the map, and then we unpaused it for a second, because that makes sense. Then we re-entered the settlement, and it's all over. In fact, Lightwave, how are you doing right now? You've actually got catharsis, so their, their mental break actually managed to completely end instantly. Oh my god, their mood was just below the 46% mark. Oh yes, they're too smart. They're one of the two smart pawns we hired. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Anyway, that was uh, an interesting way of handling mental breaks. Just draft them, bring them off the map, and then bring them back in. It works for just about everything. I don't think it works for catatonic states, though. That's about the only thing it doesn't work on as far as I'm aware. There may be others, but honestly, we're in a little bit of a weird zone where not a lot is known. Our base is getting better and better all the time. We've almost got our sleeping arrangements organized. Uh, we've almost got this floored. This is going to be research and development, as in production of weapons, armor, stuff like that. This place is where we're going to grow our Devil Strand and just a bare minimum of crops so we can, well, keep our animals tame and keep breeding them up. I do want to breed an army of grizzlies for hauling duties, and I also want to keep up a, a whole chunk of elephants so that we can use them for, well, hauling as well. Well, more for caravans, to be honest. Uh, Kin League of Cambia, where are you coming from? Okay, top right. Points, 1,384. Raid strategy factor, immediate attack, breaching smart. Okay. It's just... Uh, I'm interested to see how these things affect it. Like, this is a, a half size raid compared to normal... Well, it gets a, a 0.5 multiplier because it's an, a, an immediate attack and the breaching is smart. So smart raids are half size. Hmm, okay. It's about the same as... Oh, the, which direction are we going to go? 200 humans. Actually, actually, let's check on our enemies here and see... Uh, oh, they do have a trigger happy and tough pawn. Uh, we will... Let's see what they're like. Give me good shooting. Trigger happy, uh, abrasive. The weird thing is, we, we can be kind of picky about this. We're not really in a rush. I know that sounds weird, but we can't make the miniguns fast enough yet. We have to wait till our base is actually completed before we can do that. So we can be just a little bit picky about which type of tough trigger happy pawn we hire. Uh, let's get everyone to the front line, shall we? We, but we almost have ourselves squared away, and a panther is going to start hunting one of our people for food. Well, Panther, I have bad news for you. Like, I wouldn't say it's bad news so much as... But why, why is no one shooting the Panther? Guys, you're... You're, you're drafted. Uh, I don't I don't get it. Panther revenge. Yeah, not likely. All right, everyone bunch up a little bit better. Come on, come on. No better than that. And they are... Guys, stop mining the components. You, you don't have the mining skill... So you're just, you're wasting comp compacted machinery here. That is, ugh. You got exactly what you deserved. Now, let me find, uh, I've put our, I've actually lumped all four of our shooting specialists into one location, so it just makes it easier for me to find them. Uh, you're not going to be able to quite do that. Say, Paul there? Ah, Paul, yeah, we'll just activate you right now. And that's just the right amount of DACA. Oh, let me grab Tessex there. Just in case anyone gets too close, we can do a quick chaos skip.
So firstly, it turns out that we can actually select more than a thousand corpses. It just there happened to be exactly one thousand corpses after the last raid. We've now added one hundred and eighty nine to the pile. Uh, let's see. We'll send everyone back to work at the same time. Where was it? Because if we go into numbers, let's check out our colonists here and see how the uh, the kills are going. Anyone else join the Centurion Club? Ali and Mitchell, Ali, Mitchell, Tessex and Wallace are all now in the Centurion Club. That's uh, actually Carl's double century. Oh my god. 221 kills like they are just kicking everyone's well they are a marksmanship specialist and they've been at this for a while what they got a shooting skill of 16 they're a marksmanship specialist and they've had the minigun the longest and we've used them for a bunch of other stuff but still that's incredible i'm thinking paul and zeng are not too far behind they're going to be joining the centurion club after another raid or two uh, i think we can handle one more raid today let's, let's fast forward this a bit we've got to get everyone well, we've got to get everything built up also, I've noticed that our animals do add to the attack size, so we might want to send off caravans before the attacks arrive, and then only keep the caravans around to pick stuff up and then leave again. I'm like, oh my... Like, there is... We could grab 11 prisoners right there. So what I want to do is make, say, a settlement right beside us. I think you can settle right beside this tile. It won't really make a difference, and it's not going to affect our relationship with this crowd anyway, because the settlement's technically destroyed. We'll, we'll find out. But make a settlement right beside it, and then... Anytime that uh, the Empire shows up, we can just run over with a whole bunch of prisoners, hand off the prisoners and be done with it. Uh, ooh, and there's one more thing I want to do today. To help clean up the mess around here, we sent Sean Biog out on a caravan and they took all of the tainted clothing off the map and weapons again. And uh, Which reminds me, I just sometimes you have to just go through here and find all the herbal... That's an extra 21... How many? We're up to 334 herbal medicine. Dear Lord. Oh, Jade. What are we up to on the Jade front? 414. I've really got to start turning that into statues or something. I'm not even sure what to do with it. It's more a case of we don't have to worry about wealth anymore in our colony, which is weird. All we have to worry about is pawn count, and it turns out the bears and the dogs and the horses do add to it. So sending out our caravan and keeping it on the map as much as possible is probably best for the colony. Oh, also, that reminds me, I need to go in here and drop some stuff. Yeah, there's a, a whole bunch of tainted clothing we've got to drop off. Literally tons of this stuff. It's, it's mental. We have eight hours until the next raid arrives, and I'm thinking it's time we, we did a reformation. I've been trying to avoid this for a while, but uh, I'm afraid we're going down the dark, dark pathway of RimWorld. Now, this is not... Uh, there is method to the madness. The reason we're doing this is mood. We're just... We can't keep our mood up on this tile. So we need to find uh, better ways to do it. Now, we do we didn't need to pick the cannibal meme to get cannibalism, but, you know, I like to at least try to stick close to the, the guidelines of the game. The reason we're doing this is it gives us a plus six mood boof. Nah, mood boof. Mood buff. Which, yeah, we can't... That's super handy to get. Not only that, we're, we're going to be going with uh, executions as well. Like I said, we're going down the dark, dark path. We're going to be swimming in prisoners and... Food sources that are, will just give us lots of mood boosts. And why is corpses ugly there? You better not have changed anything else. Now let me let me double check everything here. But the plan will be we'll be getting a nice plus six mood boost out of this. We're going to reduce the raiding down to minus six. To minus six. We're not going to have as much chance to go raiding anymore. Namely because we're going to be defending ourselves 24-7, 365. Uh, let me double check everything. Oh, where'd the DACA roll go? Uh, as well as that, I'm going to get rid of some of these clothing requirements. Just... Uh, they don't really seem realistic. Uh, why bother? All right, full change list. Cannibalism, required. Execution of prisoners, required. Uh, nothing else in here has changed. Everything else has stayed the same. The only thing that's really unusual will be, say, the skull spikes requirements. And uh, organ usage is acceptable. Slavery is acceptable. Barring that, it's pretty much the default from the base game. Uh, we've got our production specialist, our DACA specialist, our shooting guys. And then I changed all of these things so that none of them will give us a person. They'll either give us Psy Focus regen Regain or Ancient Complex Finding or something like that. Nothing that would actually cause another person to join us. Uh, we've left all of those in. Oh, and uh, the minigun is now called Redemption because I just prefer that. All right, that should be it. And done? We, we done? Did that actually save? Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, looks to have saved. Now, they're going to... Oh. Yeah, they haven't chowed down in a while. We want to immediately start changing up their, uh, well, th their feeding requirements. Everyone's mood is getting a bit, 
Well, awkward. The reason being is, since we've just applied this now, they've all got the minus eight, the maximum mood negative they can get from not having eaten what they want to eat. Because it's been, you know, three or four years since we started the game. However, we have since stockpiled up the nutrient paste dispenser, and we're going to start making meals as well on top of that to help boost everyone's mood. I want the happiest bunch of colonists I possibly can to make sure they live as long as possible. Oh, and how's our numbers looking again? Hmm. Yeah, four people in the Century Club. That's still kind of insane. Wait, wait. Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm actually out of time for today. The problem is this takes a lot longer than normal to film because we just got to do so much killing and micromanagement, but it's getting better. Once we hit a certain critical mass, I think wiping out the enemies is going to be an awful lot easier. It's just a case of, well, we need to get component production optimized. We're going to be doing nothing but specializing in recruiting tough, trigger-happy people, making them miniguns, putting them on the front lines, and just soon we're going to be... Just a fortress of doom. Well, that's the plan. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.